Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is your Days of Our Live review for the January the 2nd, 2018. Let's jump on into it, shall we? First video of 2018, and we with Vivian. So let's get to Vivian. Vivian, you and Stefano Jr., Stefan, Stefo, Damara, you and you being pregnant, you had Stefano child. I believe it, maybe, but Stefano ain't here, I'll sit with you. Vivian, I love you down, love you dearly, glad you back, happy you back. Kate ain't happy your ass back, but I'm happy you back. Us fans of you happy you back, but you ain't here, sit with Stefano, Vivian, and I'm sorry. That's one of them, you, sli you um, slipped something that man drank and or you must have stole his sperm or something they're planted in your cell. Cause I trust and believe and Stefano would have slept with you. And, well, I ain't going to say he would have shot at that from the rooftop. That's one of them secrets you keep to yourself. I made a mistake. I got too drunk and ended up turning over next to Vivian and we had sex. It must have been one of them drunken nights, one of them nights that you did some things you didn't want to do, wake up and turn over and you got a hangover where you didn't drunk too much. It must have been one of them damn nights, Vivian. Because you and Stefano, then you want to talk about the audacity that Ivan said that you had a stillborn and somehow he got in contact with Ivan and made Ivan um tell him that he was alive and now this is how y'all got together and came up with this plan and Vivian, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying you and your son. I'm I, I, I'm sorry. It, it, it had to be. You had to steal that man's sperm. Or that must have been one of his wasted nights. Because everybody they had a wasted night where they did some things they didn't want to do. So, anyways, though, Vivian, we going to leave you alone now. Because I love you and I ain't going to give you too much. You just doing what needs to be done. If he is stepping no son, by all means, go for it. Cause Chad ain't doing a good job. Kate then lost her damn job. Andre can't work for the mayor in the project because he crazy or take the CEO position. So who next? Chad, it's really all your fault, seriously. Ever since Stefano died and ever since you've been in charge of the mayor enterprises. They've been having problems, troubles, and everything else in the sun when it came to the mayor enterprises. You use Katie as a buffer. Kate did help and guide you where you need to be going. They liked it, Kate. They trusted Kate, but Andre in the wild card, he kind of fucked that up with you with his antics and what he did. Talking about some you cheating on him, calling you crazy, talking about some you cheating on him. Um, to the fact that not only he did a press scrub, this whole press cover made a whole performance out of his antics. Like I said, case you didn't stand the chance with Andre Dan Toe. So, Chad, whenever you do to start to get the mayor in the process back, everybody that's working for you, basically, you need to fire every single last one of them. Because those people don't understand loyalty and don't know what the hell loyalty is. They'll go anywhere the wind blowing. I know they money at stake. I know you on shaky ground. K on shaky ground. Andre then gone to hell and then dropped all in the hell. I, I understand they ain't got too many options to people that run the Mary Enterprise, but come on now. Y'all trusted a somebody that's claiming to be Stefano's son and crazy-ass Vivian, and y'all gonna let, her, let him run the company, somebody y'all ain't never heard Chad, when you do get your cup in the back, if you get your cup in the back, you need to fire everybody that agreed to let um Stefan get their job away from you. Hell, they he ain't even let you get in the seat yet and get one for he come taking over. That's how you do how much the Mary Enterprises board trusted you, Chad. And it's about time to do some firing because that is an ultimate disrespect. Somebody that commit hell, I can pretend I'm Stephano son coming and just take over then too, huh? And he got that position too damn easy. And the fact that she pulled the wet DNA testing, y'all ran with it. Y'all must ain't Google search Vivian crazy ass. 
and y'all giving this up with a hug, and y'all don't know him from a pile of dirt, so and y'all trust somebody y'all don't know, but you can't trust Chad and hope Chad turn it around. Uh, okay, that ain't none of my business, that ain't none of my company. Chad, you better start the firing, bitches. And show them that you mean respect and you demand this bed. Cause basically they working for you. You ain't working for them. And the way they just gave that over to him just like that. Then get you tiny must sit down in the city, get it warm here. Yeah, and you already lost your job. And to be fair and honest, Chad, I can't give Vivian and Stephen too much. Cause you really have dropped the ball when it came to that company. When it came to Kate running it, they was okay with that. Look how long it finding you to get your reins back of the CEO position. Then you got to throw this elaborate party to celebrate that you getting back in the office. Besides taking your ass down to the mayor of Enterprise and then telling them, I'm back, I'm running things now. My first job starting right now. You should have showed them people that you meant business coming in. So you didn't play it right and put the foot around. Now somebody else that's claiming to be your brother and they came and stole your spot. Now you right here looking crazy. Don't know if you can trust him. Don't know if you want to beat him down or kick him in the head. Chad. Good luck. Good luck. And Kay. I'm still mad that you about the Theo situation. You might feel to get a little bit of me today. You up here talking about Vivian calling her crazy. I guess you try to call her a home to slide or a gold digger. You got a whole lot of big balls to be calling somebody else any of those type of names. Because, honey, we knew you were out the Stephen no gold when you first met him. You never got the gold, but you were still digging. So don't never call nobody else out your mouth a hoe or a slut. Don't you never do it. Don't you say it. Don't you mums the word. I don't know why you going so hard for stepping on. The last time you and stepping on had an encounter, that encounter wasn't um, very cute. I don't know what you was putting off in, in front of Vivian and Steph and calling her a hoe and gold digging all these other little fancy words in. Then you told them to leave her in the esophagus to kill her because she put you in there and poisoned your ass. Okay, she was doing a little bit too much for me. You was a little too extra for me with this whole thing. You should have let Vivian talk. You should have let Chad and Andre took off. But you should have shut your damn mouth shut. Because with you talking over her, you doing all them antics you did, you sounded like a scoring woman that didn't get the chance to have stuff in no child, and you never got that blessing like anybody else. If this is Vivian, if um, Vivian did have a chance to have stuff in no son, you sound like a bitter ex-wife that didn't get a chance to bury his child. That was exactly what you sound like, a bitter ex-wife or a girlfriend that somebody got sudden you wanted a child. That you saw the jealous and sound like a hater the whole time Vivian was talking, Kate. I'm sorry. If that wasn't your attention and you were trying to defend the Mary Enterprise and then trying to do your thing or trying to show support to Chad, you went by it all the wrong way. You, you was calling too many damn names for me. You was saying too much. And the way you was talking and the way you was carrying on, it sounded like you were jealous and, bit, jealous and bitter. I don't know if y'all picked this up, but that's what I was getting the whole entire time with her talking and calling her a gold digger and saying this and all that. And, and, and um, what else she said? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but that's all, all I got from UK. I got bitter, a cold bitter bitch that didn't get a chance to bury his child, didn't get a chance to go to that way, didn't get none of stuff. And all. I, you just sound jealous, Kate, and I hope that wasn't your intentions because that's what it came off of, and I'm going to leave you alone. Now, put you back down where you came from. Who next? Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and get her. By, uh, absolutely, by all means, less. Y'all know who I'm fit to get to. Let's go ahead, by all means, because I'm tired of seeing her in my notes. So let's get her the hell on out the way right now. Sierra the Brad. Sierra the Brad. Girl. Hope. I want you to do one thing for me. If you don't do one thing, don't, if you don't do nothing else, do this one thing to me. 
pay attention to your damn dog and forget that you the um the um the commissioner of the police station. Cause the way you and your daughter have y'all in tits conversation and then sudden happen to comes up and then you ignore her for that. Like that whole stepping on thing and you start stepping up within that party, you should have stayed there with your daughter and I said I deal with that some other time. My daughter more important. Now that I'm seeing all this and how many times you done did this, I always paid attention to it but didn't say much on it. Hope you need to focus on your daughter 10 times more than you focus on your job and you being the commissioner and you being everything else. Cause when you really talking to your daughter, or really talking to your daughter, having one of those conversations, it seems like every time you go to do a type of conversation or start to talk to your daughter, you in them all uh, conversations get interrupted every damn time. Every damn time you feel to tell her something, or you finally concerned about her and what's going on with her, all of a sudden came up your phone ringing. Oh, a crime didn't happen in Salem. Oh, I got to go to the office. I got to go to um to the police station. Oh, um, Jennifer need me at her house. Will it hurt you for one damn time in your life? Hope to actually say no to your job or no to somebody else and focus on your daughter. Now I want to blame Sierra, but I can't now. Hope I didn't ignore it this long enough. You need to pay more attention to your damn daughter. That is why your daughter is lashing out and acting out. Just like you about to tell her about herself in that room, in that um, at that party in that room, because she was about to say something and you didn't want her to make an ass out of you. So you took her in that extra room and started to talk to her. And as soon as you were about to open your mouth, who was that? Jennifer? I think it was, oh, Stefano out there. They said, if it ever be a Stefano, you left that girl sitting up there cold and, and showed that girl that you didn't give a fuck about her, but you ran around straight to trying to see if that was Stefano. Can you please take off your commission account and your commission to badge off for one second and focus on your daughter, please, hope? Because everybody ain't going to be dealing with your daughter and her grown ass. I'm telling you now. She was very rude and very disrespectful to um Eric and um and Jennifer. Not only did she throw their additions in their face, she brought up about um about um Eric killing um Daniel when he was drunk, calling them hypocrites. Now Jennifer, I would have gave her a little bit more than what you gave her, but you gave her a firm hand. And then once she said it and realized what the hell she said, she said she's sorry. I don't think that helped for me, Dad. But yes, ho, focus more on your damn daughter and forget your job for one second. Let Rafe take over, God. Let Rafe handle your job. Shit, your daughter more than important. I'm noticing this a lot now. How every time you and your daughter finally having a one-on-one, -on -one, it always get interrupted by your job or somebody some stupid shit. Ho, focus on your daughter before you end up losing your daughter. Because she got things to say. She got hurt feelings. She still hurting over Theo. She still hurting over her dad. She know that Rafe then cheated on you that well. Rafe cheated on Hope. Your daughter is hurting Hope. Please focus more on your daughter and less on your job. And you will be a better parent in my eyes. <sighs> well... Will, Sonny, and Paula, shall I do? Eve versus Brady. I said Eve versus Brady. They, 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 they didn't do too much. They didn't do a little too much. So, Paul, Midnight Run, turn to Midnight Run Fun, or what it's called? Yeah, Midnight Fun Run. That's what it's called. So, his Midnight Fun Run turned into a New Year's Eve's key. Paul, that's why you did that. Talking about cause you understand me. You ain't want me to be this person. I'm not. You understand me. I can talk to you. I can be honest with you. That's the only reason I know you'll kiss somebody will, unless you just going around being a kissing bandit. But okay. We know you like Paul. Paul Sonny at home with a drunk. I ain't gonna even wanna say that. I'ma take that back. Then you got Sonny waiting at home with a drunken idiot in that. And Eve, and he, the, um, waiting on you to get home, Brady, Brady. 
at this point, anything you do or anytime you open your mouth, you sound pathetic. Why would you come at that man knowing that boy worried, one that man worrying about his boyfriend, knowing that he can be out there, he don't remember anything of the town, and he basically knows um people that he want to know. Why would you go and make insults at that boy like that, telling him go look for his go look for his boyfriend? You sure he ain't around, Paul? Just give you a ball and you'll open your big old ass mouth, wouldn't you, Brady? I'm not impressed by you anymore. It's like you are really to hurt anybody else feeling because your feelings hurt. Brady, grow the hell up and grow the fuck up, and I mean quick. Cause now you just become a pathetic every time. Every, you can, you can, you, you ought to know it by now. Brady is the most vulcous and the most brave when he have a goddamn drink in his goddamn hand. It's obvious now. I've been noticing I didn't want to say it, but yeah, it's obvious, Brady. When you didn't hear yourself a, new, a few nips and a new tucks and a little quick look, you that's when you your brave is. Because if I was son, I would have not your, flipped your ass over that sofa. Quick and in a hurry, and see how quick your drunken ass could have got up, cause that was uncalled for, and that little quick dig insult was pathetic coming from you of all people. Sitting up there, a recovering alcoholic, sitting up here drinking, cause it's New Year's. So, Brady, shut up. Anyways, though. John and Marlena breaks up the um the festivities between Paul and Will. As what's going on, he said nothing. I'm getting ready to go. I missed the midnight fun run, so he get ready to leave. John said he'll go with him. Marlena said, I'll stay here with Paula. I mean, with Will. I'll catch back up with y'all later. So they talk. Marlena asked what was going on. Will said, I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't going to tell you no lie. I like Paul. I like Paul. Me and him kids. And I feel like I can tell you anything and you won't judge me at all. He said, I feel like me and you were very close when, we was, when I once um had my um once had my memory she said yes we was close you to tell me everything you even came out to me you even came out to me and everything again we had a relationship an open communication relationship where you can tell me anything and i wouldn't judge you so he told her yeah i kissed paul yes i got feelings for paul um paul and um Paul and John, that's his name. I'm, I'm drawing a blank on John. Anyways, though, Paul and John talking. He talking about Will kissed him, and he wanted to tell Sonny, and he missing Sonny. And he thought this um this his first New Year without his husband and without um Sonny, so he missing him. He want to tell Sonny that um him and Will kissed. John said, why would you do that? And I guess John want to see where he going at, where, where this Will and Paul thing going at too. Let's, just like I'm curious to know where the hell this going to go at. So I'm guessing John want to sit back and watch too. So we going to sit back and watch all, I guess. Um, Oh, yeah, so Will came home after New Year's, told Sonny, oh, Sonny ants. I'm not trying to be nosy, but where were you? Oh, I was with a friend. Oh, yeah, what's this friend name? That friend name is Marlena. She ain't really a friend, but she my friend. Sonny said, oh, oh, okay. He said, well, anyways, though, back to what we was doing now, getting ready to celebrate New Year's. Unfortunately, now, you didn't miss the 12 o'clock hour, so it's 12 o'clock somewhere. Let's get on to it. We'll say, oh, nobody. I ain't got my New Year's kiss. I'm good for the New Year. I give you this kiss on the chicken. You better say it's a fine for you. And that's about all you're going to get from me is a kiss on the chicken. I'm going to bed. Let's glaze over Eve versus Brady. Because I didn't say everything I wanted to say about him when that when he threw that dig at Sonny. And then, so, Eve, all I got to say is about this situation, about this thing, you better not let that drunken get the better hand over you. Now he drunk. This thing ain't been sober since before the um before um 
before they even started counting down um the clock yet. And he, Eve, all I know is you better not let Brady. Now, Victor, that's another story. Brady, you better not let Brady drunken ass get the better of you. You better fight for what you want, and you giving him a piece of time. I said, you ain't got nothing I want, but I see you sitting up there, and you couldn't resist him. He came back up them stairs, or you already to give it to him then, huh? You up there having sex, or y'all kiss him. When he kissed you when the clock went down, you slept the shit out of him, and he asked, what was that for? And then you worrying about it, he playing you. No, what the fuck you better be worrying about it, he, if you gonna play hard, you gonna play him. Um, Eve, I'm not a fan of Brady, even though I still is a fan of him, but not really. Eve, I'm not a fan of you neither, but I'm rooting for you and hoping you get the upper hand in Brady and embarrass his, and embarrass his ass one more time. Because that's the only women he like, the women that embarrass him and make an ass out of him. Because he think less of himself and he full of himself. So, Eve, I'm rooting for you and I hope you get the upper hand over him. I hope you're giving you some love and and... and you giving him some, he let down his guard in. You let him let down that guard and you jump in to take the guard, take everything you gonna get and run for the run for the um nearest ocean or the nearest airport. Eve, get him and run the hell out of his ass. I want it. He been a little bit too extra for me ever since October or was it November? Whenever he started. It's about time Brady get his do his his just deserves, and it's about time you give it to him, Eve. Um, that's about all what happened. Anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. By the subscribe button, there's a little bell there. Hit that bell that to um to let you know when I upload my videos because YouTube be tripping. And if ever you don't get a notification with my videos, that's why you got to hit that bell to make sure you get the notification calls. YouTube going through a notification thing and think I'm a jig these days. So you have to be careful. And I guess I'll start saying it now. So don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Bye.